welcome to our science class. Our lesson for today is Science 6, Quarter 4, Week 3, Seasons in the Philippines. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe seasons in the Philippines, identify the factors affecting the seasons in the Philippines, Discuss appropriate activities for specific seasons in the Philippines. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a review first. Let's recall. Letter A. Directions. Read the statements carefully. Write check if the statement is correct and cross if not. Here are the correct answers. Letter B. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. When does a tsunami occur? Correct answer is letter D. When an earthquake occurs in the ocean floor. Number 2. What should someone do if an earthquake happens when driving? Correct answer is letter C. Pull over and park your car away from buildings. 3. Why do we need to clean our roofs after volcanic eruptions? Correct answer is letter D, to prevent collapse and corrosion. Four, which of the following should not be done during an earthquake when you are inside a building? Correct answer is letter C. Run to the door as fast as you can. 5. Why is the preparation of an emergency plan at home important? Correct answer is letter C. To cope with the disaster. 6. Which Precautionary measure should be done before an earthquake. Correct answer is letter A. Prepare an emergency survival kit. 7. Which of the following statements is not correct about staying calm during an earthquake? Correct answer is letter C. Staying calm makes you stay pretty and gorgeous. Number 8. What is the importance of earthquake drills in school? Correct answer is letter D. To provide awareness on how to be prepared in case an earthquake happens. 9. Which of the following should be done after a volcanic eruption? Correct answer is letter D. Listen to the powered radio or television for the latest emergency information. 10. The measures below should be done during volcanic eruption except
correct answer is letter C. Watch an erupting volcano. Now let's discuss our lesson. Season is the period of the year that is usually characterized by a particular kind of weather. It is a division of the year marked by the changes in weather, hours of day, and ecology. The Philippine climate, warm and humid year-round, is one of the world's healthiest tropical climates. There are two pronounced seasons, dry and wet. Two seasons in the Philippines. Wet season is characterized by pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Wet seasons starts at June and peaks in July to September and then falls slowly toward the end of the year. Generally, daytime temperature ranges from 30 to 36 degrees Celsius and nighttime temperature ranges from 21 to 28 degrees Celsius. The air is hot and humid, which brings heavy rains and typhoon in the country. During the wettest month, rain is an almost daily occurrence. Precipitation or rainfall is highest in the area where southwest monsoon or habagat strikes. During rainy season, it is advisable to carry an umbrella, especially in the late afternoon. It is also during rainy season that farmers can plant crops. Dry season is characterized by hot and cloudless days. Between January and May, the climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. During January and February, the air is cold and dry. The peak of the dry season is in April with less showers. This is characterized by less and infrequent rainfall as well as dusty soil. During this season, some of the crops die due to insufficient supply of water. The Philippine climate, warm and humid year-round, is one of the world's healthiest tropical climates. Dry season influenced by the seasonal wind and the northeast monsoon or Amihan. Northeast breeze from Siberia and northern China is cool and dry, which brings prolonged periods of successive cloudless days. Daytime temperature ranges from 25 to 32 degrees Celsius and 22 degrees Celsius at nighttime. Factors affecting seasons in the Philippines The Philippines is located a little north of the equator. Being near the equator, the country receives vertical rays of sunlight. The sun's heat causes much water to evaporate and fall as rain later. Part of the year experiences dry season and part of it rainy or wet season since the earth revolves around the sun. Different parts of the country experience short dry season while other parts do not have marked rainy season. The prevailing winds in the Philippines are the Southwest Monsoon or Habagat and the Northeast Monsoon or Amihan. The Southwest Monsoon runs from May to October. Warm, moist winds from the southwest, southwest causing rains over the western portion of the country. The Northeast Monsoon or Amihan 
occurs from November to April. Cold winds from the northeast that bring rains over the eastern side of the country. Activities suited for specific seasons in the Philippines. During the dry season, you can plan your family to have a family gathering, family outings like picnics and long trips, travel to historical places and beautiful sceneries, and do recreational activities like hiking, swimming, and mountain climbing. This is also the season for house cleaning, washing clothes, during sunny weather, and gardening and yard improvement. The dry season is also good for farmers to harvest and dry their crops, and for fishermen to dry their caught fish. The dry season is also the best time for flying kites and biking. Drying of crops under the sun is usually done during this time. People wear loose and thin light-colored clothes as well as shorts to feel comfortable during hot days. Cold food and beverages like halo-halo, ice cream, and fruit shakes are usually served during this season. Activities suited for wet season During the wet season, activities are mostly indoors like reading books, watching televisions, writing short stories, poems, and songs, playing musical instruments, blogging, chatting, surfing the internet, and playing video games. The wet season is important for farmers, for this is the time for planting. The wet season affects the activities of people. Farmers plant their crops during this season because the abundance of rain shower, rainwater makes their crops grow quickly. People prefer to serve and eat warm foods as well as wear thick and long-sleeved clothes. During the wet season, people do most of their activities indoors. When going outdoors, they usually bring umbrellas and raincoats. The change of seasons in the country is studied and monitored by the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. This government agency likewise monitors and informs the public about the weather disturbances. Now it's time to apply what we have learned. Answer the following exercises. Letter A, directions. Write W if the situation is characterized by wet season and D if dry season. Correct answers are number 1, D, number 2, W, 3, D, 4, W, and 5, D. Letter B, Directions. Study the pictures. Choose the picture that best describes the sentences below. Check your answers. Number 1, letter C, 2E, 3D, 4B, and number 5A. Letter C, directions. Fill each box in the diagram with a phrase that relates to the given season. Choose your answers from the box below.
for dry season, here are the correct answers. Water shortage. Very hot days. Cold foods. Cloudless days. And drying of crops. For wet season, we have heavy rains, flooding, hot foods, planting of crops, and frequent typhoons. Now let's analyze directions. Interpret the graph to determine the occurrence of wet and dry season in the Philippines by answering the questions that follow. Here are the correct answers. Now let's try. Directions. Read and understand each question very well. Read the following situations to answer questions 1 to 3. Here are the correct answers. Let's create directions. Make a jingle or song to describe the different seasons of the country. Here is a sample of the jingle or a song. So that's it for today's class. Thank you for joining. See you again next time. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get updated when I post my next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!